Smile. I think that will make you smile I'm surprising her. She still thinks I'm on deployment in Japan, but we're in San Antonio, Texas right now, and I'm gonna surprise her. So I gotta hide right now. Where is she coming from? I don't know. Is she said she's coming right now? I don't know. What did she say? She said she's coming. She can't stand over there. Did you say by the front door? Melinda, go get her from the front. Go get her inside, Melinda, and bring her. You can do it. Hi. How's it going? Good. Awkward footage right here. Really awkward footage. Hey, she's coming. She's coming. Oh, my God. Just look like you're texting. Oh, God, I don't have a phone. Hold mine. Don't lose it. Here we go. Here she is. I sound like you're from London. Hi, Mom. Oh my God. Oh. <laughs> Give her a hug. What's wrong with you? Oh. Surprise. <laughs> oh. Thanks, Karen. Among today's holiday travelers, a local soldier who just returned home from Afghanistan. News 5's Brian Hamrick is live at CVG with what was really a happy homecoming, Brian. Yeah, Cheryl, you know, the day before Thanksgiving, the airport is the last place many people want to be. But for one family, this airport was the greatest place on earth. Before what you're seeing really makes sense. <laughs> This is mom. No. This is son. Oh, yeah, there's something else. I'm um, coming in from Afghanistan on a 12 month deployment. That's about it. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm just so glad he's safe and he's home. Staff Sergeant James Montgomery is reuniting with his family, giving Thanksgiving more thanks than ever this year for his wife. Hi, honey. So much. It makes you appreciate what you have. This is the best Thanksgiving ever. This is the best Thanksgiving ever. He's home, he's safe, and he's with his family. What Sergeant Montgomery savors now is far from food. You know, just glad to be alive. One family. That will wrap their arms around Thanksgiving like never before. <laughs> Don't laugh at me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> now, Staff Sergeant Montgomery is here. He'll be here for 15 days but he goes back to Afghanistan but he's only there for 60 60 more days and he comes home again for good that'll be a real homecoming reporting live Brian Hamrick news 
A father home from the war surprises his little girl at school. And only we were there to capture the moment that she set, uh, that she, the moment she uh, set her eyes on her father. And so Stephanie Stone is live with the story for us tonight. Staff? There was not a dry eye in the fifth grade classroom here at Cheviot Elementary. And let me tell you guys, this was a pretty special event. It took a lot of top secret kind of planning. <laughs> It's all right. It's okay. I'm home now. For 11-year-old Kayla Proctor, it was class as usual until her dad walked in the room in uniform. Yes. It's been 18 months since he left for Afghanistan. I wanted to do something special for her, you know, uh, and actually let her see me here in my uniform and stuff. And I think it's a big morale booster for her and also her classmates, too. They've kept up on Facebook, but this past year hasn't been easy for Kayla. I feel um, really happy because me and my other sister in Bowling Green have been missing him, and I'm kind of a shock now. Before she got the surprise of her life, any other? The Cheviot Elementary fifth graders were learning citizenship. Little did Kayla know her principal, teachers, and support staff were planning down to every last detail, like bringing dad around the back of the school and up a back stairway. Yeah, that's really special. And it's special for dad, too. This surprise kicked off his retirement after 19 years in the Army. It's all worth it, you know, once you get here. And here's the best part about Kayla's dad. Since he's retiring, that means he's not going back. So he plans to spend the next year of his life transitioning back into civilian and, well, his daughter's life. We're live in Chevy at Stephanie Stone, News 5. Hi, Daddy. Hello. Where are you coming from? So here we are yep. in uh, Miller Place, Pasteria. I just got off my flight at... Uh, MacArthur coming from El Paso, but before that, Djibouti. Uh, I haven't seen Brittany or Jasper or Abel for the first time, for that matter, since before I deployed. So uh, at this time, th so they're going to bring me some, a dessert, and I'm going to bring it over to Jasper. And we're going to be like, oh, did a Mr. Jasper James order an ice cream? And it's going to be one of those moments where, like, you know, so pretty exciting. I'm, I'm pretty pumped up. I was dancing in the car before I got here. So. Yeah, that's where we are. Jasper, you wait. Jasper, you wait. Hold on. That is great. Oh, I got to Wow. Look at Mr. Jasper James order an ice cream. Here you go. What's up? <laughs>
You want to get out of the box? You want to get back in the box? Uh, <laughs> How are you doing, Mike? I'm good. All right, you get like. A Redskins cheerleader got the surprise of her life tonight when her husband, a Marine Corps lieutenant, home early from a tour of duty, dropped in at practice. What was your reaction? My legs turned to jello. <laughs> and that's not just from practicing all night. No, it's not. I saw him and I, I just couldn't stand up anymore. He had to hold me up. Lieutenant Denver Edick was in Iraq, then Afghanistan. He wasn't supposed to come home until July, but got to return sooner. While he was away, his wife Kristen earned a prize spot on the Skins cheerleading squad. I'm a very lucky man, obviously. Um, and I, I believe I was more nervous today than I was on our wedding day. So, <laughs> uh, But it's just a, a blessing. Kristen Edick had been practicing all night with her fellow cheerleaders, unaware that her husband was coming. The director was in on the surprise. It's so nice to see these girls, the other side of their lives, because I work with them, you know, just five, six, seven, eight, get in line, and to be able to kind of have a, a window to what her life is like and what it must have been like while he's been away overseas. Um, it was just very touching. Now they plan to hang out, watch a few movies, and Edick says he'll obviously be at all the Redskins games. Take a little vacation, um, a lot of catching up to do, obviously. Yeah. Um, yeah. Just uh, not get any further than a couple inches from each other. Well, I can tell you from experience, homecomings at Marine Corps Air Station Yuma are always emotional. But today's military homecoming was especially touching. Your local news reporter Patrick Hayes was there. And Patrick, what made this reunion so very special? Anna, today was a big day for all the Marines now home from Afghanistan. And two of the double dogs were anxious to meet a couple of new additions to their families. Um, it's been interesting. <laughs> it's been very tasking. Sabrina Willis has been waiting about five months to see her husband. But three-month-old Marie has been waiting her whole life to meet her dad. Willis told me her husband was able to witness the birth of their daughter via Skype. Yes, <laughs> lots of pictures and videos. Um, as soon as he gets home, just hang out, I guess you could say. I'll help him learn the ways of fatherhood. <laughs> Carrie Marquez shared that same sentiment. Her son Nicholas was born a couple months into her husband's deployment. Once the Marines of Squadron VMA-311, a.k.a. the Tomcats, were released from formation, they hurried to find their friends and family. What's up, no worries. No worries. Little Nicholas finally met his father. And Corporal Marquez wasn't the only one at a loss for words. Um... There's really no describing it. It's just a moment of extreme happiness, and I'm just happy to be home with my daughter and my wife and ready to actually start my family. Reporting for your local news. Awesome. I'm Patrick Hayes.